double click the desktop icon to open the configuration tool. Once open, expand the window to fit the screen. Doing so will enable you to view all of the individual windows with ease. Once the sensor is connected and powered, you can connect to it using the System tab. Click Connect Sensor. This will open a window entitled COM Port Setup. The COM port, which you have already configured, will be listed in the drop down menu. Select the COM port you are connected to and click OK. The tool will connect and read the current configuration of the system. Click OK. Click View to see the current setup for both the detection zone and the blind zone. You can switch between the two windows in the setup tab by ticking the appropriate zone. To set up the detection zone, click setup and then select detection zone. This will open the setup window. There is a selection of quick zones which can be selected here. Select the required length and click apply. In most cases the customer will require a bespoke installation. In this example, my customer has chosen a 7 meter detection length in increments of 1.5 meters, with the outer zone set to 1 meter. Each detection zone length can be selected using the drop down menus here. When the detection length is increased, the tool will automatically widen the detection zone. The width should be 4 meters. The detection zone width is set here. When you have selected the required width, click Apply. There is a large towing hitch in the center, which needs to be ignored. We'll do this using blind zones, which we'll be getting to shortly. The detection area is now set, as shown on the left. We are now going to set up the blind zone to ignore the towing hitch. Switch the view to blind zone and open the blind zone setup window. Like the detection zone setup, there are quick zones in this window. If you select a zone larger than the detection zone, you will receive a warning. The blind zone will not change. Select a suitable zone, or create as required with the blind zone tabs to the left. In this case, we only need to block out 0.6 meters by 2 meters, so we'll use 3 meters by 4 meters. Here, we are going to select a blind area 2 meters wide and 0.6 meters deep, represented here by cells 2 and 3. Select by ticking cells 2 and 3 and click Apply. Cells 2 and 3 will now turn red. Click Cancel to close the window. Here you have your completed configuration. You can now write the configuration to the system. Click System and select Write Configuration. A pop-up will notify you when it has been written. Click OK. Once the configuration has been written, you need to disconnect the sensor. Click System and select Disconnect Sensor. You can now unplug the USB cable from the display. To save the current configuration, click System and select Save Configuration. Select a file name to overwrite, or create a new one. Then click Save, or press Enter. To load a saved configuration, click System, and select Load Configuration. Select the file you require, and then click Open. You can now view the loaded configuration by selecting each window in the View tab. You can close each window by clicking Close in the menu, 
or by clicking the X in each upper right corner. The tool can be closed in the same manner, or by clicking Exit in the System menu. If the configuration has not been written to the radar system, you will receive a warning reminding you to do so.